you know, leave it to the GBOT guys to take what was me trying to be cautious about whether or not they would put in a certain suit or not, and just kind of throw it right out the window very quickly. Although I will say, some of the things about it are actually pretty on the nose for what we thought it was going to be if they did try to implement it. What's going on everybody? This is Gustav the 13th talking about a really quick news development update for GBO2, the year's end message over on the 27th of December. Couple big things coming out from here. The biggest of course being that we actually have a new suit lined up. The Fenix is actually going to be implemented into GBO2. Another 700 cost general. So you know, that kind of figured. There wasn't really going to be much of a chance of it being a support. I didn't really think if they did put it in that they were going to end up taxing it like that. That being said, I am pretty glad at some of the things that they're implementing to make this feel a little bit more rounded out. As we saw when it was actually in narrative, it did kind of have a limited kit, but the point was that it had these crazy space wizard powers, so it didn't really matter. Um, but now we have some other stuff. The armor... The armor busters actually have some beams coming out of them. They also have their own rush mode if they're actually attached. The awakening and NTD mode in general looks really neat. And of course, it is rocking a beam magnum of all things. Thank goodness they actually had that. Although I would say, obviously, it being the originator, they would probably have access to that anyway. Not to mention a lot of suits in this era have universal interfaces regardless, so... Pretty neat that they still did that. I can appreciate it. Seeing the way some of the armor DE stuff works is really cool. And the, some of the clashing modes that this has is also neat. Um, hopefully it ends up turning out pretty well. Although I will say, <laughs> since we know that there's going to be nurse for the unicorn coming up, as well as some other suits, us having another busted general come out at this cost seems very cool, but also very ill-timed at the same time. So it'll be interesting to see, but definitely not something that seems like it should be coming off the back of uh, several nerfs. At the same time, we do have the usual stuff for this time of year. A uh, quick notice for um, the Happy New Year 2013, 20, I almost said 2013, oh my god. The 2023 20, campaign. During the campaign, the New Year's gift free 10 supply drops with two 3-star rarity mobile suits guaranteed. Of course, that's, there's going to be some stuff for that. The other thing is kind of odd, but it's recommending your ideas, wishes. Part of this is honestly just kind of roughly translated, but checking this out. First things first, I'd like to say about submitting your ideas and wishes. Dear pilots, how are we currently, how's the current gameplay environment in GBO2? So essentially, they want you to um, use this thing where you welcome your comments and requests on a daily basis via the contact page on our official website. We are trying to reflect all the opinions we can get. However, let me express a frank request from the development and management side. We are happier the more comments and wishes we receive. So, it seems to imply that even though JP side has this whole idea of like um, forums and stuff, that there may or may not be a um, different contact thing on here that they were hoping more people would use. This is also interesting because this is coming out around the time that Gundam Evolution itself is not only doing their second half of their um, winter season event, but they're also encouraging other people to do surveys on their own end, specifically through a survey as opposed to just doing the contact thing. So a little bit of a different approach here. Hopefully they also just kind of listen to some of the reception that they're getting through social media and stuff, I know that could be kind of a mixed bag, but to, let's be honest, if they actually want more opinions, it's going to be mixed regardless. However, since we won't be able to reflect all the pilot's wishes and comments in GBO2, we would like to apologize beforehand. We wish to present you a more comfortable and more pleasant gameplay environment according to your wishes. Um, so yeah, interesting. Obviously, they're still trying to get more feedback, um, especially as we see a certain comment here at the last end when it says last but not least in the most recent post. As for the coming year, we would like to continue our efforts to implement new mobile suits and new features to improve the playing environment based on the results of the survey that I mentioned above. We are looking forward to the 6th and 7th anniversaries and not just our 5th. Um, there's been a lot of people talking about the idea of this game's been going on a good while. A lot of people are kind of oddly crossing their fingers for GBO3 right out of the gate right now, especially when it's coming off in the heels of us actually getting GBO2 
to PC in the first place, especially after their first um, network thing was a flop. So it seems a little premature to be like, oh yeah, I sure hope they do a new one really soon, like right now even. It's like, no, we're going to be in this for the long haul. I, I'm still of the belief that they didn't think that this was going to catch on as much as it did initially, and they probably ended up getting a little bit more pushed, especially around the time that there wasn't a lot of Gundam content out there. And as we've been seeing consistently, GBO2 has outlasted a lot of those. You know, SD Gundam's done. Um, G Gen's not going to get another thing until Eternal, and that's going to be a mobile game. And beyond that, Gundam Evolution's trying its damnness, but even as they're trying to push their events and stuff, people are still roasting them on the, the Steam viewership, you know, when it comes to them only having like 1500 for that client. Sure, the Bandai Namco one over in Japan's probably doing better, but, you know, that's not really what we're going to be looking at when you're talking about it doing a worldwide release and talking about how it's doing globally as opposed to just in their country. So, you know, it's kind of neither here nor there how it's doing on that client, unfortunately. In all that, though, GBO2, despite its fluctuating viewers, you know, in different places and stuff, has definitely still held on. It's still a pretty solid player base. Um, the crunch for the rating has made it seem, especially for newer players that are in lower ratings, like it's a little bit more barren, but that's because as they climb and, you know, you get through some of those earlier ratings pretty quickly, it's going to get faster. You always kind of have to tell people that, like, once you actually do more rated or, you know, depending on what else you're doing, you're definitely going to see more people in there. That's kind of where most of those people are going to be. And your matches are going to come to you faster. There's going to be other factors that still slow down the matchmaking, especially compared to other games and stuff. Um, but that's just kind of the, the nature of comp. You know, the salt must flow one way or another. People are going to ditch lobbies. They're going to, you know, yeet part way through games. There's going to be communication errors regardless because it's on um, peer to peer anyway. Um, but as it's been, it really seems like we're going to be in for the long haul. You know, as they mentioned in here, they just celebrated their 10th anniversary. It'll be interesting to see what else they announce if they're being very serious about going to even a seventh year. But. In a nutshell, that's what we're talking about. Um, general projections, Happy New Year campaign coming up, also the Phoenix. I'm, I'm still not surprised this in general. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna harp on it all day, but it's, it's just the safer thing to do. And it's really funny, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this fares at the end of the day with some of the other tweaks that they've done to the other unicorns, and if they're probably gonna immediately have to nerf this one too. But! It's cool that it's in there, right? I was pretty leery about them doing it depending on how they would actually implement it, and the way that they've done it here makes the most sense. Giving it more stuff than what we saw displayed in the, in the movie, giving it a more rounded out kit. In general, it's gonna... it seems like it'll be a good time. Um, it's probably gonna be a little unfortunate that it's gonna be another, like, seven, seven step banner to try to get this, and Lord knows what kind of item they're gonna tack on the end or whatever. We'll probably get more details when it drops later on. And in terms of implementation, yeah, it's actually going to be for this week. So on the 28th, um, Banner Drop Night, we're actually going to be seeing this be implemented along with probably the New Year's campaign and, of course, the unit adjustments as well. So uh, good luck with that. And hopefully you guys enjoy some of this stuff going forward. I really hope that we get another like bigger announcement for some of the other things that they're talking about, especially if we're going to have that much time going forward with this game. Hopefully we'll see some stuff after New Year's. But until then, this is Goose of the 13th. I'll talk to y'all in the next one.